Hey everyone, how are we doing today? I'm Ross Marcagiani. We're here today to discuss about our functional adrenal stress profile. This is going to be one of three videos. The first video is going to be some key points to, uh, to take in when you do give your samples. Second video, we're going to go over your noon and evening sample, what to do. And the last video is going to be our night sample and how to package and ship uh, our test, okay? I'm taking this video at home, so you might see a little furry animal run by. Don't mind that. I'll just have to shoo them away. So, first things first, our functional adrenal stress profile. This is where everything begins. This is the whole uh, basis of functional medicine that really can get you on a healthy track, as you obviously know because you've already have this test shipped and you're ready to give your samples. So when you get that package, it can be really confusing. There's a lot coming in there. It can kind of be pretty overwhelming. Um, I order my samples from BioHealth Laboratories. So you'll get your package, and in this package are gonna be a lot of stuff. You're gonna have your patient information, so basically just address, your name, simple stuff, just make sure you fill that out right away. You'll have your label to ship the, your sample out. You'll have your two biohazard bags. You're gonna have a female hormone survey. So you, for you females, you know, really putting some accurate information to that survey, making sure we get the best results for when you do send in your, your samples. You're gonna have your patient packing uh, instructions, again, which I'll go over in my third video. We're gonna have patient information instructions, which is why I'm here to basically simplify it and make this easy so you can get uh, your sample taken and, and done properly. Last one is your shipping bag, making sure that uh, your samples, your ice pack, all that good stuff's gonna go in there and I'm gonna show you how to do that in my third video. So, some key things to focus on. Um, again, we're taking uh, our morning sample. So, uh, oh, real quick, most importantly, obviously, our test tubes, okay? We're gonna get four test tubes, morning, afternoon, evening, and nighttime, okay? Uh, in with those samples will come some labels. Make sure, I already did my testing, I already put the labels on there and, it, and I had to end up writing on the labels while they were wrapped around the tube, which was kind of a hassle. Make sure you don't put those labels on until you have your time and date, that way you can write it on the piece of paper take off the sticker and wrap it around the tube. All right, that'll save you some hassle, okay? So, things to avoid before we take our morning uh, sample. Make sure we wanna avoid brushing our teeth, avoid flossing, mouthwash, fluids, except for water, we're okay to have some water. Caffeine, for you early morning riders, I know this is gonna be a tough one. Um, so try to, you know, first thing you get up in the morning, Take that sample, and then you can have your caffeine. You're good to go, okay? We want to avoid smoking and alcohol while we take these samples as well, okay? Next one, we got some key points to focus on. So like I already said, we're taking our morning sample, which is going to be from 6 to 8 a.m. Really important that we hit that window because the morning is when our cortisol levels are going to be the highest. So this arguably is one of the most important readings. I mean, they're all really important, but... This one's going to be the highest for sure. Um, make sure you allow yourself 10 minutes during each sample that you take of the four samples. And we're producing a lot of saliva here. So as you can tell, my next point is half or half the vial or four milliliters of, of saliva. So that's a lot of saliva to produce during one sitting. So give yourself that 10 minutes. Some tricks to help you produce more saliva that help me. Uh, placing your tongue against the roof of your mouth, that seemed to, you know, get my uh, salivary glands going. Smelling a lemon or lime, uh, that seemed, that was a trick that I've been told. So there's some things, if you have some time, you know, to, to uh, help you quick, speeding this process up. Next one, no foam or mucus. So guys, this has to be pure liquid saliva, clear saliva, four milliliters in that tube. No mucus, no foam. That's gonna affect our results and uh, we wanna try to stay away from that. We wanna have the best results possible here. 
Uh, if we're taking more than one uh, test, in, my, in this situation we're only taking one, but if you're taking more than one test here, you want to wait 30 minutes in between your samples. Okay? Make sure, this is really important, as soon as you take that sample, that we keep that sample frozen. Okay? We want to try to make sure we freeze that, have a good accurate reading, and uh, that's really important there. Another thing, for people who are taking supplements, medications, or for females, if you're taking some hormone creams, you want to try to refrain from having those um, while you're taking your tests. Okay, uh, unless you know, for you ladies, for your hormones, your doctors don't suggest doing it, uh, taking, uh, you know, backing off on your hormone creams. But that's a really important point to uh, focus. Okay, and also really important here. I don't have up on the board. If you guys do miss a sample window, you miss that time frame. Don't freak out. It's not the end of the world. You're just gonna dump your sample out, make sure you wash the tubes out very carefully, make sure you let them dry completely, and you're just gonna have to restart, okay? Um, it's really important that we take these samples during a very typical day. So I've taken my samples uh, during the week when I'm working out, when I'm going to work, when I'm getting up during my typical time during the day. Try to uh, stay away from doing it on the weekend. I know it's kind of easy because you don't have to juggle work and, and that kind of other nonsense. But try to uh, take these tests on a typical day, all right? Uh, so that's basically the key points here, guys. I appreciate you guys uh, you know, tuning in. Hopefully you watch the, the second and third video that will help you complete this entire process. Again, the next video will be uh, how to take our noon and evening samples. The third video is going to be how to take our nighttime sample, some key points on those, and then how to ship your uh, sample safely and securely. Okay, thank you guys for tuning in and uh, have a great day.